Okay, sorry about that folks, ran out of memory. I had to download some uh, some videos in order to clear up some memory. But anyways, so far, let's recap what we did. We connected uh, pin 1 to ground, 4 and 8 up the plus. We connected 7 through the resistor up the plus. We connected 6 and 2 together. We connected the resistor between 7 and 6, which is also connected to 2. Uh, and we brought the cap, cap from 2 to ground. Okay, and the next thing we want to do is bring our resistor over for our LED. So we want a quarter watt resistor on that. Get everything all nice and lined up, and there we go. So notice the trace is going underneath the component, which is perfectly okay, because when it etches out, there's not going to be anything in there anyways. So there's our resistor. Our LED happens to be uh, 0.1 inches. So on my template, I'm going to use the transistor pinout. And that goes from the resistor to ground in this design. So two holes there. Uh, let's put our... Notice I'm using the transistor template for that. And bring that up to ground. Okay, and we're finished with the top view at this point. And then uh, what you could do is, you know, copy this and then do a highlight method and double check all your connections and everything. But this is such a simple design, uh, we're going to skip that. Okay, so now this is the top view of the PC board. So we're looking at it from this angle, right? So the trick for this guy is uh, to somehow invert this. And we could do that very easily. We can use a light box. Uh, back when I was a boy in school, what we did is we had these big, huge glass windows. They work great. Um, but for today, I know people are going to hate me for this, but we're going to use my LCD screen as a backlight. Uh, back in the old school days, we had CRTs, and they were made of thick glass, so you could do this really easy. But with the LCDs, you want to be really careful. And you can break your LCD screen. So we'll tape this up. And there we go. You can see the reverse image. Let me zoom in on that. And very lightly with our pencil. Oops. We got the uh, camera standing away. I gotta get a better uh, camera layout. So we want to just gently mark. I reverse. It's much easier if I have a straight edge. I'm just doing this by hand really quick. So I got a limited amount of time. I only got 10 minute downloads on the YouTube stuff, so. So I'm just doing the pads and the traces. I'm not doing a component outlay. Very lightly. Because we're going to draw this again on the PC board, so... Again, if you have a copy machine that has this feature in it, or what you could do is you put a transparency in, and then you can use photoresist boards and just copy the image on a transparency and use your infra, uh, ultraviolet light box and transfer the image over to your photoresist board and develop it with the chemical. Okay, so there we go. There's the reverse. Make sure we've got everything. Okay, so with the same tape, let's bring this down. Yeah, see, notice my screen. I didn't damage the screen at all, so uh, I might get a bunch of emails on that. Don't draw on the screen, you'll break it, but I'm going to do what I got right now. 
Yeah, you can make a light box pretty easily. You just go to Home Depot, get some really thick glass, a plexiglass, and a, and a fluorescent bulb, and you can build yourself a box. Oh, you know what I forgot too? I've got to do the outline of the PC board, but that's okay because I'm just going to tape the PC board on the component side anyway. So where I originally drew out the PC board, let me zoom out so you can see it. Now I'm going to tape this in place, and it's very important to get a good tape on this so it doesn't move on you. Okay, so there we go. There's the board on there, and now uh, what you could typically what what we did is we took a, like a scratch all or something sharp with a pointy tip. Um, well, I don't have that. I got this thing right here. This is a drill bit. Um, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it. This is actually I get these from Drill Bit City. Uh, pretty inexpensive, like under two dollars a bit. Uh, again, back when I was in school, we didn't have a lot of money, so what we did is we actually used piano wire and a Dremel to, to do the holes. But uh, I'm just going to mark the holes with this bit, and you just go through. Mark all your holes. And if you could believe it, back in the 60s and 70s, they used to do this by hand all the time. They didn't have the nice CAD stuff. CAD is a lot easier, but I like to have my students do this for a couple times, just to, you know, kind of have them thinking about trace layout and stuff like that. Okay, there we go. There's all the holes. So now I can untape this, and now I have all the holes marked out, and now I can transfer everything with a Sharpie marker. I got two Sharpie markers. Uh, they sell special PC board markers, but these work just as well. I think these actually work better and they're cheaper. Um, so, so don't forget. Let's see, this is four and eight. So I'm going to do a thin line for now. You could do this with a straight edge too, but I'm just going to freehand this because, again, we don't have that much time. Okay, so there's our trace going to here, going to 4 and 8. Don't forget this is backwards now. This is now pin 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you can do like crazy designs and crazy things and stuff like that. I always like the right angles. Oops, now I made a mistake. I was supposed to go to that second hole here, which is okay because I can come back with some alcohol and a Q-tip and just erase that. Pin three comes over to our resistor right there. This guy comes over like that. This guy comes down here, comes over and up. And this guy comes over there. And that's it. There's our general trace. So I'm going to thicken these up. You can do multiple layers too. Uh, uh, when you put down the Sharpie, it, it makes it uh, resist the etching a lot better. But uh, that's how you do old school PC board design. Uh, only took me 20 minutes to do a small single board, throw it in acid, and you're done. Okay, that's it. Bye. I'm going to have some still images up on this.